Okay, this lecture is going to be a real short tutorial on customizing Vim. So over the last few lectures we've learned Vim and Emacs and I've asked you to basically pick one that you'd like to use and uh, if you chose Vim then uh, then this is uh, going to be a short tutorial to teach you how to customize it a little bit uh, to uh, make your day-to-day -day life a little easier. So uh, we can tailor Vim uh, by redefining keys or abbreviating f frequently used expressions so that we don't have to uh, you know type in the, the long uh, version of all these commands we can uh, come up with abbreviations and or uh, key bindings that allow us to uh, do these things quick, quickly um, there's also many customizations that are built into Vim uh, and they're available via the set command uh, from the EX mode so that's the mode where you uh, hit escape colon <clears throat> so if you actually want to see a full listing of all the set commands you can just simply type set all and it'll list them all out <clears throat> and you can undo a setting by uh, you know the, the, the colon set followed by no and then whatever the command you're, you're interested in unsetting so for instance if uh, you know you had, you had set a number you know, via set number, then you could undo that by typing set no number. And so I'll give you a, a, a quick example of what uh, a couple of these uh, do here. So f here's the, um, the LaTeX file that uh, I used to create the, the grep slides from earlier on. Um, you, you've seen this in, the, we did an exercise with this. Um, so this is the LaTeX style file that I have opened in Vim, and if we want to set, uh, for instance, line numbers, uh, we would go to EX mode and type set number. And now we have, a, over on the left, we have a, a listing of the line numbers. Um, we can also, I can give you an example of what some of the other ones are. For instance, show match uh, is another popular setting, and what that allows us to do is when you, when you move your cursor over uh, a, a brace or or parentheses it or a bracket it'll show the matching one so you see the cursors on the left brace there and the right brace is also highlighted this works for brackets as well and it'll work uh, for parentheses uh, additionally uh, there's also <clears throat> a couple other ones like for instance set list which will basically show you where the line endings are so for instance here you can see that the dollar sign is way out there <clears throat> and that means that from where my cursor is to the dollar sign it's just white space and we can you know, get rid of that it's, it's unnecessary now the same thing here there's a bunch of white space on this line that's unnecessary so uh, you can also see wherever there's a tab uh, it's indicated by this caret i now uh, that's tab but we can get rid of those by typing set no list and you see that's gone so that's just a a couple examples of some built-in settings of course like I said if you'd like to see them all you can type set all and uh, you know there's many many built-in ones so um, we can also remap keys so this is kind of a neat feature and you can basically create your own key bindings with this uh, and we do that from EX mode with uh, the map command um, so you can also you know you can undo any key binding with unmap um, to make uh, key sequences in input mode you you need to add an exclamation point uh, to the map but let's go ahead and, and give an example of this for instance uh, you know we, we know that to save a file we typically would type colon write and then you get the message down there at the bottom of the screen well, we could remap a key from edit mode. Uh, so what we'd say is map G. We'll, we'll use the G key. So we're going to map G uh, to colon W. Now to enter uh, a carriage return is a little tricky. Um, we have to actually hit control V and then return. And you'll see you hit, you see the little caret M there, capital M. That's how Vim interprets a carriage return. So if, if we just go ahead and uh, type enter there, now uh, we could uh, you know, make some changes. And then if we want to save those changes, we would go 
back to edit mode and then all we have to do is simply type the G key and you see uh, we get the message down there that this is written. So we've remapped um, the colon write to the G key and uh, you know saves us a few keystrokes. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is once you uh, get a set of uh, you know key remappings and set commands that you use a lot, then you'll want to put those in a file uh, in your home directory. Uh, that's a hidden file .vimrc, and so this file is run every time you open vim, and it will store all your settings so that you don't have to re-enter them every time. Um, I have a fairly complicated vimrc file. I'll show you. Um, if you'd like to look at mine, you can actually access it here. You can download it here uh, from this site, and uh, I have quite a few comments in there, so. I think most of the lines are commented, so to give you some idea of what they do, uh, if you'd like to use mine as a starting place and uh, you know kind of comment out the ones you don't understand or the ones you don't use, then, then that's fine. Um, you know, another helpful tent f uh, tip for Dropbox, us Dropbox users would be to you know put a, put a copy of your VimRC file in your Dropbox folder and then symbolically link to it from all your Unix machines. Uh, that way, you know, if you make changes on one then you go to a different machine, you'll, you'll have an updated copy. There's other ways to do this too, um, and, and that's actually exactly why I have mine out on the web on GitHub, because uh, you know, I, I, I then uh, can always keep it in sync with all, all my other machines. I won't exactly get into why or how I do that, but uh, you know, for Dropbox users, it's, it's easily uh, the easiest way is just to do what I said there. So just to give you an idea of what mine looks like, um, I've actually got it all folded up uh, so you, you can uh, kind of separate it out into separate areas. Um, you can unfold these uh, by typing ZA and uh, so you can see mine is over 119 lines long and uh, these are all different commands that are in my VimRC. So here's a bunch of the set commands that uh, you know I was mentioning before. So like I said, it's out on the web if you'd like to take a look. And uh, if you're a Vim user, I highly recommend customizing your environment. It'll make you more productive.